Welcome back to the Dopest Show You Won't Get Sick. I'm Spencer, and this is Sasha. I spent most of my 20s in federal prison, but I've been off heroin since April 9th, 2010. Got a lot of stories about the dumb stuff I did to get put in prison. I also got quite a few stories about the wild stuff that happened when I was actually in prison. And God forbid you end up in prison. I want to make some of the same mistakes I made. So, yesterday got a little tied up. Got one video up. I always get one up. You can count on me for that. But since I only got one up, figured I'd add this one. Uh, it's a wild one. One of my friends I was talking to the other night brought this up. And I was like, man, <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Okay, so Shorty, I met him when I had to work in the kitchen. See, if you get put in the kitchen, you're stuck in there for 90 days. I didn't know I'd been fired from the one job, which was a no-pay, no-show job. Apparently, I was supposed to show up and sign something one day. didn't hear the announcement, so got put in the kitchen. In the kitchen, you do nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Sitting around, nothing. And you end up talking to people. Now, I talked to Shorty. He was, uh, you know, he got in trouble in Virginia, and he spent most of his life... Uh, in this area now he got caught with 200 kilos of blow yeah so he was doing a lot um also with some of the people claiming they were doing certain stuff that they were claiming they were doing you know from people like him i knew mm -mm, no because you know some of these people were claiming they were getting this for that this for that when it came to prices and shorty's like no he says i talked to my friends he says right now Three for 100, one for 40, talking about the prices, how they how they went way up. So unless people were getting trash, um, yeah, he knew a little something about that. So there were some events that led up to this, which I will tell in a different story. But basically, Shorty was a wheeler dealer. Now, he's a short little Mexican fellow, probably about five foot tall, um, 120 pounds. He had those teeth. I don't know if he had like diamonds or something in the middle, but it was like silver around the outline of his teeth. Okay, so it's kind of like a, dis a distinct look. A uh, little mustache, short cut hair, he's always smiling. He's just always smiling every time you saw him. He's probably about 40 years old. Now, he had ended up in a situation that could have ended up very badly for him. Seeing as how the people look out for their own, Pisces means countrymen, you know, they, uh, but I mean, pretty much the biggest gang in that prison, the one that would act the quickest. There was an issue with the debt between him and Serrano's. Everything ended up working out, but some weird stuff started happening after that whole deal was settled, okay? You would not typically see him hanging out with the Serrano's, and since there had just been an issue with him and the Serrano's to where he was possibly going to have something very bad happen to him, but the Pisces weren't going to allow that, so he might have got checked in by his own people, but they were able to work it out. You would guess that there would be some sort of tension, some sort of aggravation to where, you know, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't be hanging out. They wouldn't be friends. But they started hanging out all the time. People have their different little spots on the yard that they do different little things. Okay, by the bleachers, which was next to the bathroom, they got this brick building bathroom on the outside. To the right of them is the, uh, these bleachers, and there's a fence for, so the ball can't come back for the baseball field they got there. That's where typically, you know, most of the white people would lift dirt, bags sewn up that they'd put dirt in. You didn't have weights, they lift dirt. A lot of the time, you'd have the Amigos lifting on one side of the pavilion that there's a basketball court and bleachers on, and then you had black dudes on the other side. It was really segregated in that respect. And there were different places that, you know, different people hung out, just to put it simply. Now, people would frequently do pull-ups off the soccer goal. See, at the low secure, they had everything. They had... They had three different height pull-up bars, all these different little contraptions and gizmos, but the medium, oh man, they had one broken soccer goal and the other soccer goal you could do pull-ups off of. Now, they were hanging out near that one soccer goal, but behind that soccer goal, there's actually, um, there's like a, a football goal post, okay? And they were hanging out over there, and people typically, they'll put blankets down on the uh, grass or whatever, play cards, you know, have stuff. If you make big meals, go out there and eat it, you know, different gangs, groups, stuff like that. So what ended up happening was you see him sitting over there at these blankets near this post, and he's sitting over there just playing cards with them all day. I thought, that's kind of odd, you know. And 
at this time, I had not started doing burpees with King and that old bunch yet. I was doing, I was, I was running every morning. Uh, as soon as I got up, I'd run four miles. Then at lunchtime, as soon as I ate, I'd run four more miles. Nothing quick, just steady coasting thing. And um, as I was running one day, you know, I seen him sitting there and just running my mile. You just pay attention to stuff. And as I looked back around, I realized, where'd he go? Didn't see him anywhere. I mean, I figured shoot, he must have ran off somewhere in a hurry, you know. And I kept on running. And everything else didn't see him for a good long bit. Didn't think much of it that day. And look, probably seeing him later on. Can't much remember. But I remember there was another day because see, I'd go out like right at lunch. As we went out about the same time, we went out to the yard about the same time. So it was right when he'd be sitting out there with him. And I remember running another day. And then he was there, and he wasn't there. Like, well, where'd he go to? What what they do with Shorty? What what's what's happening right now? Am I going crazy? I thought like I was having some type of a mental issue or something. Like, you know, that's very possible. You know, I'm a little bit a little bit off sometimes. But uh, anyway, yeah, he kept he kept. I kept, it got to me to where I like I started watching. Like I, it took a little bit to catch on. I saw us a couple times, but it was spaced apart. And the first time I figured he just must have had to really had to go. He must have ran inside, you know, go to the bathroom. He might have had to do number two, so he ran inside to use that bathroom. Nobody did number two in the outdoor bathroom because you know there's certain parts of it where it's open. There's and that's nasty. Anyway, so I started paying attention to it, and there's a car that overlooks the yard at the medium on this hill. It sits up on this little hill, so then it can look over. It gets a good view of everything. But every so often, that car will drive around just a, a perimeter, just drive all the way around the perimeter. Well, I'm running around, but, you know, I don't want to look like I'm being too nosy. One of the worst things you could do in prison is let people know you're watching them, you know, being nosy. But, I mean, this is just, there's certain things that just bother me, eat me up. If I can't figure something out and something... I'm, what 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 is happening here? What what where is he going? What what is happening? Am I am I losing it? If what is really happening? So I start paying attention, and I see the perimeter car drive off, and then I look over. I see them look back and forth to see all who all's doing what. But I'm kind of like side glancing. I see them move the blanket a little bit right near that post. Whoop! Like Mario, he went down the tunnel. He went, he, he disappeared. And then they covered it back up real quick. And, and they just kept on playing cards and carrying on about their business. Well, what in the world? What did you, you just do? So, yeah. This happened for a good bit. Now, I didn't want to be too nosy. You know what I mean? Going around and stuff. Now, I did pull-ups and everything else. And there were certain times I did pull-ups and everything else. Now, they didn't come out till lunch. I'm wondering what in the world's going on here. Now, just being straight up and honest, if you're in prison, something with how my mind works from the very first day when I walked in willingly, self-surrendered, you're looking at the place and you're thinking, if I were to, I'm not going to try to escape. It, no point. The amount of time I'd get added on and everything, I wouldn't do that. You know, it's too close. If there had been a hole in the fence and I could have just gone, if there had been like a getaway helicopter, I wouldn't have gone. I had... That little amount of time uh, compared to other people. I say little amount of time. If you have less than five years remaining in the federal system, that's considered a short timer, okay? I believe it's like five years off the rip if you get caught trying to escape. So anyway, but you, you sit there and you wonder. And there's so much space between the two fences. Because you see you got two fences, each with barbed wire at the top. Then you got like this pit. There's one circle of barbed wire. Then there's two circles that go like higher. Then there's three circles. The only way anybody could have done something like that is if they'd had two ladders. If they had one ladder to climb up to the top of it, put something over it, and then made a bridge with one ladder to go from fence to fence and then jump off. But Petersburg is across um, from Fort Lee, which is a military base. Good luck. Good luck. Now, some of the campers, there was recently a prison escape now what that was was the campers don't have a fence so they basically just walked away they do count there twice a day but in terms of escaping you know like stuff like that yeah now something else i noticed around this time was that there started being a whole lot more alcohol 
a whole lot more alcohol, okay? There is a tremendous, like, it, it's significant. You know because drunk people are annoying, okay? Now, Armando, my sailor who was number two for the Pisces, as much as, you know, I think the dude like a brother, I did not drink my last four and a half years. I did not do anything other than my medication I got at Pill Line my last four and a half years that I was in prison. First six months, yeah, I drank that tomato wine. I got ignorant. Ignant. I got ignorant. But last four and a half years, not a drop. Not a drop. Um, That little SIS lieutenant was on me so much about anything. Plus, just just wanted to get it done, get out of there, just it was over it. But anyhow, my silly Armando, he's getting drunk and I be want, he I be laying in my bunk. He's he's on the bottom bunk, which is pretty much grant on the floor. It's a three bunks in one room. The third bunk's so high you can't sit up straight in it. So I'm in the middle bunk. He be laying in that bunk talking. Listen, listen, pedal. And he just talk and talk. I'm like, man, I know you're feeling good right now. I ain't feeling on the same wavelength you are. I'm trying to go to bed. Shut up. One more thing, Pedal. And I'm like, oh, my God. I know it's because that. Cause I'm having to deal with this. And, you know, people make wine a lot of time. It's in a locker. It's in it's, what, At the low security, there are no cameras. And each building was like a completely different prison, like a fortress. They had tons of places. They had places up in the ceiling that they'd hide stuff at the low security, but the medium security, I mean, it's cookie cutter, you know, like the old pod type deal, so I mean, there wasn't as many places to hide it, so, you know, it wasn't too hard to gather, there's probably a good bit of wine down in that hole, so, being nosy, but without drawing attention to myself, I was known to go out there and work out half the day, so I mean, I was known to go out and run four miles in the morning, so that wasn't anything out of the way. So I go out there, one same time as I always do, and rather than uh, rather than do my regular run, I decide I'm going to do sprints and I'm going to do pull-ups. So I sprint, you sprint from line to line. The line you can't see the lines there at the low. They kept that line like a they kept that line like a college football field. They, the actual lines they have people go out there and line it. You know, put that like a uh, chalk or whatever. So, you know, you can't really, you got to kind of estimate where you're running at the medium, which worked in my favor. And I walked by, walked back, and I see kind of like a little something, like a little something that looked like it was patched up, you know, kind of looked like disturbed grass had been pulled up with a little bit of what looked like a hole, but it didn't look like enough for it to be what was happening. Wasn't going to mess with it, you know. Something else talking about that, talking about running up and down the yard, something that you don't see. One of my first days at the medium, I saw it looked like a little belt loop. It was like a little fabric loop coming out of uh coming out of the grass. And I was like, what's this? And I pulled it up. Uh-oh. Pushed it back down. It was a spike. It was a shank. You know, and that's what they have. They had those loops they can just, you know, put their finger in. Whoop, whoop, you know, pop somebody. Um, <clears throat> But, you know, I was wondering what in the world is going on with this. Like, what all is going on with this? Because... You know, there's more alcohol already. So why why is he still disappearing for hours on end at a time? And uh, yeah, there were certain COC every morning. Being that I lived in dirt with a few people, Sweeney and them, the bags of dirt, we'd have to watch at a certain time. Because after they closed the compound down at work call, I wouldn't go in until about 10 o'clock. So I'd say roughly at about 9.15 you would have this guard walk and he wouldn't just come in the regular entrance of the rec yard. There's an entrance behind the shoe, which is solitary. It's its own separate little castle of a building. Walk behind there and depend and come through that gate. They'd undo the gate, do it back. And we'd have to watch for that because we'd have to hide those dirt bags because they'd cut them open with a pocket knife, pour them out. And then I'd have to go to the people in the leather shop and have to pay them to make me another dirt bag. You know what I mean? Um, we had all kinds of bags. Now, the one that we had, which was like is either 16 or 18 inches in diameter and about 6 or 7 foot long, it held about 300 pounds of dirt. Tear your shins up, though. We used it as a deadlift bag. Tied uh, belts around it with a cane. You know, like old people walk and have to use, grab where the belt is here so then it wouldn't break that. 
But that bag cost a good bit. Whenever they come out, you know, we just like throw jackets and stuff over it, try to roll it under the bleachers. A lot of time they wouldn't walk over to us because the bleachers were at one end and they usually walk the perimeter. So they walked the long end around. But there were some that were super COs. I talked about the one guy who played uh, on the offensive line for the Green Bay Packers that hurt his leg, and I'm pretty sure it's why he became a CO. Seemed like he was pretty bitter about that, so he'd do all he could to make people's lives miserable. He'd come over there and cut it, and being as much of a weightlifter as he was, and he loved to brag about what he could lift, um, you know, he figured he would have understood, and he wouldn't have done it. But anyhow, the COs that were around most of that time weren't bothering anybody, so you could get away with certain stuff. So eventually, one day, you know, I'm, I'm not out there at this time, you know, or whatever, when this gets discovered. But basically, all the COs are out there. They've done, they're all standing around it, you know, digging down in there. And you could see it from out the window. You could see only one of these walls, so the top four floors could see the rake yard. Nobody else in any building could. It just looked out into the woods or onto the yard, their windows. Um, they were pulling bags and bags of wine out of there. And Shorty went to the hole. A number of other people went to the hole, but he, he went to the hole. And the word was, what the rumor was and everything was, was that he was building a dang tunnel. Can't imagine he got too far on it, okay? If he was actually building a tunnel and they were able to prove it. Now, that's what they tried to put on him at first. Now, if you get like some type of escape charge, that is the worst thing ever you can have on your jacket. There are certain people at the meet who like had been in a cop car and tried to get out the window and they have an escape on their record. Man, they get treated something terrible in transportation and everything else. Now, it sounded like they really tried hard to push an escape on him, but it sounds like it wasn't big enough. But the way the staff told it and the way the rumors told it and the way that everybody else heard it was he was building a dang tunnel. Now, like I said, Shorty one big, he's five foot tall, about 120 pounds. I don't think anybody else could have fit down there in this big old hole they dug, okay? But I think part of what the ultimate deal was, my understanding after the fact, was Shorty had this big debt. He ran gambling tickets. He tried doing all these little different ventures. And not everybody's meant to run a gambling ticket. Not everybody's smart enough to do it. But the biggest thing is most people that run a gambling ticket don't have the discipline to hold money back for when they get hit. When they get hit is when people win. People will win sometimes as much as a few thousand dollars off the ticket man. Typically, the ticket man's making money every time. But if they get hit for two or three thousand dollars and they don't have five or so thousand dollars saved up that's spread about. They don't have the money to pay to every place. And a lot of the people that are ticket men also have drink and drug, whatever problems, which shorty, he liked the drink and stuff, you know, just, <laughs> it's pretty obvious, you know, you tell when people are drunk, especially when somebody's mild mannered and then they get ignorant hey, and all this, uh, all that crazy stuff. And, uh, uh, you'd hear whenever, okay. It, some, something crazy. <laughs> you'd hear some of these, the amigos go, they go, yeah. And whenever you, whenever you heard Shorty do that, he was like, oh, man, he, he'd been drinking. Yeah, what is that? But anyhow, um, so basically he stayed in the hole for a good, good long time. He ended up getting out of the hole. They didn't end up getting him for, like, the escape charge, but they did get him for all of the wine, everything else. But he's making wine underground. Now, if this had gone you know, not discovered for a long, 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 long time, like maybe years, he might have been able to make a tunnel under that thing. But a little shorty working by himself under there, I, I don't see that happening. I don't even I don't even know for sure that's what he's doing. He probably was, you know, for them to do everything they did, but it was wild as could be seeing him drop down that hole like the Mario man, like Mario and Luigi. Do 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 boom. You know, <laughs> I was like, man, what what I just see? Shorty just disappeared. <laughs> but yeah, anybody who's there remembers that because that was a crazy dug a hole. And this wasn't like in some discreet place, which is the crazy thing about it. Okay. This wasn't off to the side. There were different places that were off to the side. But I mean this was just at one end of the football field, you know, at the post. And 
for whatever reason. I don't know if he'd been working on it or what, but they all went over there and they stayed there pretty much all day. And they stayed there all day so nobody discovered or anything else. Lucky somebody didn't fall down in it. Lucky didn't collapse on him. But uh, it, this was just a while. I was talking to somebody the other night about this. They, they're like, you didn't tell that one yet? And I'm like, no, nah. I said, I forgot about that. But I definitely remember it because that messed with me for a long time. Seeing him disappear. Imagine you see somebody sitting there. You, you run. You know, I wasn't running fast miles now. I wasn't like doing six, seven minute miles. I mean, sometimes I'd run as slow as, you know, nine plus minute mile. You know, just steady little coast. And you see everything and, you say, and then just somebody disappears. You wonder, you question your sanity and everything else. Anyway, if you like the video, press the like button. If not, that's 20 minutes and 45 seconds of your life and what you'll never get back. I had some stuff go on yesterday, so I wasn't able to get the second one out. I, I think this was a pretty interesting one. You know, it turned out, I don't know if it was going to be a tunnel, but it was like a little bunker he had under there, a little wine bunker that only he was big enough to go down this hole. But they pulled out bags and bags of this wine and you noticed it and i knew that there was something to do with wine and this stuff because i mean shoot it, that much wine didn't show up overnight and then you know you're popping down a tunnel like you're mario you know what i mean yeah those amigos apparently they know something about digging them tunnels but anyway if not that's 21 minutes and 29 seconds of your life and which you'll never get back but i hope you did though